Joe Giannetti, welcome to the LFA. For fans who may be checking out for the first time on UFC Fight Pass, what should they expect when you enter into the octagon? Honestly, just a lot of fireworks and a lot of fun. I mean, I'm excited to be here. It's my first time, and I'm just excited to fight. I mean, it's been seven months since my last fight. It's my longest layoff, and I've made so many improvements. I just want to put on a show and have fun doing it, and I hope the fans enjoy it. Nice. I know they are looking forward to it, as so are we. Joe, you are a part of that season 27 of The Ultimate Fighter where you won your first two bouts very impressively. First round submissions. Then in the UFC debut, you were on the wrong side of really what was a razor thin split decision in the uh, finals. Of course, it wasn't the outcome you were hoping for, but what did you take away from that experience? Um, just leveling up my hard work. I mean, I was always the hardest worker in the room at home, and I always took pride in that. And then I thought I was going to be coming into tough. And I think I was one of the hardest workers, but I wasn't up to DC's level. And DC kind of just pushed me and pushed me and broke me. And he set that bar in my head. And ever since every camp, I'm just trying to work as hard as I was on tough, if not harder. DC, definitely one of the uh, most professional athletes out there. No doubt about it. Now, Joe, you come in with a lot of cage experience for a 25-year-old, including a very extensive amateur career. Now you bring your talents here to the LFA Octagon. What are your thoughts about not only making your debut in this promotion, but doing so in the main event? It's really cool. I mean, uh, I've never really thought I'd be able to make it to LFA. I didn't know how to make that work, how to get in touch with you guys. And it's awesome that now it's coming to fruition that's part of my path now. And it's a new experience. Maybe I can get that title before I get back to UFC. That kind of seems like the golden ticket to get there. Uh, so, you know, if I win this fight, maybe a shot at that title. But, you know, I'm really excited uh, and just watching it. And I'm going to be there. It's just cool. Awesome. You know, many athletes have had to alter their training and preparation during the pandemic. What made this camp different for, from others in the past? Honestly, I was just able to make a lot of improvements because I was focused on myself. My gym's really good at helping each other. You know, we have a couple of coaches, but everybody's a coach to each other at the same time. You know, I'm helping new guys. I'm helping other fighters, and they're all doing the same for me. I'll take advice from new guys if I think it's valid. <laughs> um, but with everything going on, everything was on me, my strength and conditioning, uh, my technique. It was just hard not having a lot of partners. I have a couple of buddies that live down the street that train, so I was able to get sparring in. But as far as grappling, it was just a lot of, uh, you know, John Danaher technique videos, exercises I found online. Um, but I've made a lot of improvements because I was only focused on myself, which normally it would be selfish to do when I'm around everybody else. But now it's normal considering we're all isolating. Great point. Uh, my advice is take uh, advice from the Hall of Famer, Pat Militich, not me. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's talk about your opponent, Brant Moore. He's a black belt in BJJ, but you have eight of your nine wins coming by way of submission. Do you feel you have the advantage when this fight goes to the mat? Yeah, I think that it's just a little bit different in MMA. I think that uh, his jiu-jitsu is really, really good. I mean, you don't just get a black belt, um, but I think that it's more sport-based, and I'm honestly sport-based jiu-jitsu. I'd probably get crushed by a lot of guys that I've even beaten in fights. But fighting is just different. It's mixed martial arts. You got to mix different techniques in. And I think I do that really well. So I'm excited to actually get on the mat with Brandt and test my jujitsu because I think I'm going to pass with flying colors. Nice. Bottom line, when it's all said and done, why will you be the one getting your hand raised next week at LFA 89? I've put my heart and soul into this camp. I've been training since the pandemic started. Uh, I've spent so much money just putting that gym together in my garage. I've sacrificed everything for this fight, and uh, it's all going to pay off when I get my hand raised. Joe Giannetti, thanks for the time, and we'll see you in South Dakota soon, my man. I'll see you guys soon.